What kind of helmet is that? What kind of helmet? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Jake still has his mods active. Son of a... Oh, that's, that's a little bit better. Anyway, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Simpa Billy, back at it again with another awesome video for you guys today. We are going to be playing Skyrim. This is going to be the fourth installment. Last time, we killed Grelod the Kind and got access to the Dark Brotherhood. Then we killed a few people, made a name for ourselves here in the Dark Brotherhood, and now, first things first, we are going to go do another mission for the Dark Brotherhood. But, before we do that, I'm going to take this stupid hood off. Looking studly. Ugh, Narfi's all the way in Iverstead. This is going to be a long haul. <sighs> well, I guess we're, we're, I mean, we're going to have to go, spoiler alert, we're going to have to go to Iverstead for story mission anyway. Might as well knock that out while we're over there too. And our long, treacherous journey begins. Uh, should we go this, I think we actually should probably go this way. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ayo! Uh oh, Imperials, you already know they're about to get the, they're about to get the wood! Ayo! It's your boy! And... Boom! Let's go! And we kill the horse? No? 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 Alright! Let's search this Nord! Okay, he didn't have anything. What about this guy? Steel arrows are nice. Wasn't really worth it, but it kinda was, because they were Imperials. What? How's a... How is a horse? Okay, you know what? Well... I guess there's really no way to... I guess we're going to have to go to jail, fellas. I mean, there's not really much we can do with that. Oh, gosh. This episode is getting off to a fantastic start. I, my, might I add. Oh, my lanta. Jake, I'm coming for you, man. He had like 50 mods installed. And I don't even I don't even know what half of them were. Like, that didn't even make any sense. It was just like... It made one of the, the one of them made the axes look a little bit better. Like it looked the same, just a little bit better. I don't know. There was so many mods. I'm surprised my Xbox was able to run those things. Anyway, hope you guys have had a fantastic time so far in your day. However far you've made it, and we're out of jail. It's that easy. I don't know why people don't just sleep eight hours in jail and just get out. Like you got to be kidding me. Would it be faster? To go from here, it's like a sh straight shot. We're going to try it. We're going to go to Windhelm Stables and we're going to try to shoot straight down because we don't have to go around that big mountain. It's just a straight shot, so hopefully we'll be able to just kind of uh, skate on down the Iverstead. Been uh, trying out a new new little thing uh, for you guys, new series, a little bit. I'm doing a uh, hardcore Minecraft uh, kind of series. It's going to be a little bit different than the series we've got going on right now for Minecraft. Uh, I'm kind of, like, I'm, I think I'm going to end that series, honestly. Uh, it just, it doesn't pique anybody's interest. I'm losing, I'm, I'm losing motivation for that series. Nobody, nobody watches it as much. And I feel like hardcore Minecraft is just going to be much more entertaining. I can do a lot more with it and stuff like that. So, you know, de we're definitely going to be moving in that direction. Is that a dragon? Oh, gosh. You got to be kidding me. And I'm doing this like by myself too, so that's great. Is he gonna come over here, or is he just gonna yeet me from all the way over there? How much damage do I even do? Okay, and he's all the way over there now. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. At least he's in the direction of our objective, bro. Where are you going, dude? Lead the shot. That was awful. Maybe if we just keep on going, he'll lose, he'll lose track of us. I don't even know. Oh, gosh. But, like, the format that I'm going to use in the new Minecraft videos is going to be really nice. Uh, I'm going to try to be more personable in those. Uh, I'm going to do it, like, in a 10-day format. So, like, most people will do, like, the I survived 100 days in hardcore Minecraft or whatever. And those videos are great, but I want to do something a little bit different. So, what I'm going to do is every episode I'm going to go through 10 days and what I did in those 10 days. And have a little maybe even a little story time and stuff like that uh with stuff that's going on in my life or stuff that's happened in my life you guys would care about that we are up to 350 subscribers so i mean i'm expecting my gold play button any day now honestly that dragon is like 9.5 miles away and it's still on the radar for some reason the music just ended so maybe he's about to go away Nope, there it goes again. Music's back. 
kind of key you guys in on what what it is that I actually do for my for the for the full time job uh, or for the job right now. Uh, I work in the OGP section of uh, Walmart that shall remain nameless. Uh, but pretty much, it's just getting awful there, man. They I don't know. They don't know how to run anything. It's insane. Like, the amount of just bull crap that goes on at that job. It's like, they do this big thing. Okay, we, we were all in one room up in the front front of the store. And they decided that that was awful for coronavirus. We weren't doing any preventative measures. So, that's awful for coronavirus or whatever. So, they split us up. And instead of keeping us split up, they put us all together and, like, shift us around. Like back and forth you know what i'm saying like and, and that's the same kind of premise that you were trying to avoid when splitting everybody up is not having them together so your logical or like your logical thing is to put them back together i don't know it's just crazy it's just it doesn't make any sense whatsoever but hey i'm not the i'm not the boss i'm not the smart guy Everybody's going back to college. That's kind of awful. It's really, really bad. Big Jake's going back. I know he left a lot of mods on my uh, Skyrim, but I mean, he's pretty cool, I guess. But he's going back to Sky, uh, back to Skyrim, back to uh, college tomorrow or tonight. I think he actually left tonight. Uh, this is the twenty fourth. Uh, man, college is a drag. If anybody is watching this video thinking, "Hey, I think I'm gonna go to college," don't, don't do it. If you can get, if you can get, a, if you can make any way that you don't have to go to college, make it happen, dude. I think this is actually like a unique. Is there something on that log? I'm thinking there might be. Playing hardcore Minecraft though has really get given me like a new appreciation for the game. Like, I love the game already. It's already my favorite game of all time, even over. Okay, what are we? What are we fighting here? Skeevers. Okay, but like. I already love the game. It's already my favorite game, like, ever. Uh, but playing the hardcore version on Java Edition is just so awesome. It, it just gives that edge. Like, it could all end at any moment. One bad mistake, and it's over with. And I really, really, really enjoy that aspect of it. And I hope that, I hope that this series kind of takes off, kind of establishes me a little bit more in the Minecraft scene. No, I haven't up uploaded in a couple days, or actually, I think it's been nine days so far. I had a little streak going of like five or six videos where I did it every three days like I was wanting to, but you know, life happens. Stuff gets in the way. The length of this video, man, it might just be us traveling to Iverstead, maybe doing the mission. I don't even know, man. This has taken forever to get to Iverstead. Absolutely forever. So before we get too far, I know that there's something up here. That we're going to want to avoid. So I'm going to go ahead and save right there. Uh, you might want to save if you're playing along. I pity you if you're playing along, man. You're only getting to play like an hour and a half worth of gameplay every four weeks or however long it takes for me to upload one of these. I want to get more consistent with uploading this series. It's just that the Minecraft videos are, well, they're not easier to make. I've played Skyrim so much. That's the thing. Is like I do want to do a Skyrim Let's Play, but I've played it so much. That it's kind of lost its pizzazz to play through it over and over again the same way over and over and over again. Like doing a mage build is too easy. I don't want to do that. Hack and slash is kind of boring though. I don't know. It's just there's there's a there's a fine line and that right there is what we were trying to avoid. My main man's trolley boy. We're gonna go fight him. We need a thumbnail. We need a thumbnail. That's what we need right now. Whoa. 360 no scope off the top rope. All right, troll. We're going to save right here so we can save spam this guy. Boom. Let's go. Oh, dude, you don't do anything to us, dog. You don't do anything. Okay, maybe he does something. Well, no. Are we on easy? Oh, my gosh. Jake. Jake hates to play hard games. He loves to just go through and just wreck everything. Like, a lot of his mods were just, like, faster archery or better archery. Uh, you know, it just awful mods that nobody needs. It just makes the game super easy. 
Okay, I really don't care about that at all. Is there a chest in here? I don't think so. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Any of the chests in this game are just going to be random rolled loot, which, I mean, sometimes can be good. Sometimes it can be helpful, but most of the time... Can you guys even see? Anyway, most of the time it's going to be just, like, iron helmet and stuff like that until you get, like, level 70, which then I think it kind of scales up, and you can get Daedric stuff and stuff like that. Would you guys like it if I were to, like, power level, like, all the way up with my Skyrim guides? Power level all the way up and then go through this stuff? Like, not do the traditional Let's Play. Like, we could just go through all of the different, like, we'll do Dark Brotherhood, we'll do Main Quest Line. But, like, do it on Legendary Difficulty as, like, a maxed out character. Would you guys like to see that more than a from the beginning Let's Play like this? Because I feel like that's been done less than the straight up Skyrim let's play okay this guy is about to get ganked like and he doesn't even have any idea okay let's go come on now um jeez are you kidding me how did that not kill him Oh, not in here too. Who am I detected by? Should I just kind of go up to him and try to shoot him? What? Okay. You know what? I don't even care at this point. Take me to jail. Oh, wait. You can't. Who's seen that? Literally, who's seen me do that? I want to know. I'm taking this nerd route. Okay, let's go. Let's get this over with. Take me to jail, whatever. Where you at? Oh wait, they don't care. They don't care. Okay. I mean, I'm down with that 100. percent Anyway, we got Iberstead unlocked, which is a very, very like big thing. It's like it usually takes forever to get over to Iberstead because you got to go around the mountain and pitter patter around and stuff like that. Getting a phone call. I'll be right back. All right. I mean, I guess we're gonna just report back to this year. We killed Narfi. That's like the first little starting contracts that you get. You get about three. This mf'er. I hate him. Cicero, that is going to be the best. Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but when we kill him, it's going to be the best. It I mean, wait, I just spoiled it. Ah, crap. All right, Nazir, talk to me. Narfi's dead. Oh, how much? 500? Come on, give me 500. Come on, Nazir. Pay me good, son. 250. Thanks, Nazir. You cheapskate. All right, guys, so we've decided, instead of doing the way of the voice, we'll do that some other time. I'm wanting to focus on the Dark Brotherhood, mainly because there's a couple of gods I want to do, uh, Skyrim gods with the Dark Brotherhood. So we're going to do Morning Never Comes. Astrid has given me uh, my first major contract. Basically, we're going to go over there and kill Muri, or however you want to pronounce her name. I really don't understand it. Uh, I think it's in Markarth, so we're just going to go over to Markarth. Climb him back, and we'll be off. Well, boys... It looks like God has smiled upon us today. Looks like your boy Senpai Billy is going to be getting married November 6th, 2020. Mark it on your calendars. You're all invited. Okay, okay. Th th he just killed that lady. <sighs> okay, literally, I cannot draw my bow. Get destroyed. Get destroyed, Waylon. Anyway, story time with Senpai Billy. So... I proposed them I proposed to the girlfriend, right? I proposed to the girlfriend thinking we're gonna get married November sixth, because obviously you talk about that. You talk about that kind of stuff. So thinking she says, you know, you you're proposing to me by the end of the year, we'll get married November sixth. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, make, we'll try to make it work. So I'm sitting there, I I'm I'm okay, fine. And we and I I I all right bet is pretty much what I said. And I proposed to her before the end of the year. Little did she know I was going to actually do it. So, basically, moral of the story is we're not getting married November 6th because that's the thing that I wanted to do. But now, the tables have turned 
and her mom wants her to get married in November. So it's kind of like a I told you so situation. Anyway, we can either kill Elaine Dufont and go back to uh, Astrid, or we could optionally kill Nilsine Shattershield also. You already know your boy Senpai Billy is all into that extra credit, so we're going to kill both of them. Okay, dude. Dude, I have killed dragons. I'm fine. I don't care. I didn't drop that, number one. You're slipping, slipping me something into my drink, you stinking pervert. All right, we're going to go kill Nilsine Shattershield first. I want that hashtag bonus. You already know your boy Senpai Billy is all for the extra credit. But like 352 subscribers though, that's nuts. That's nuts. We were we hit 200 at the end of the year and here we are still in January and we've almost doubled our subscriber count. That's insane, guys. That's actually actually insane now i've never fun fact i've never been able i'm gonna lower well I don't, i'm not gonna lower the difficulty i'll use better arrows um i've never been able to pull this off without being caught so if we pull this off and without getting caught then i'll continue the let's play if not i'll delete my youtube channel there she is right there you know what let's see if we can like get here in the shade maybe and just kind of she went the wrong way. No. Okay, we're going to have to find a way to kill this lady. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? I just decided to pull the trigger, ladies and gents. We're going. We're going for it. We're going all out. <laughs> Come on, lady. Oh, hey, yo, it's your boy. Let's go. Murdered in town square. <laughs> that's good boys that's good all right uh hey guys i'm real sorry for what i did hey i'm real sorry for what i did i love how you can just kill somebody lower your weapons go to jail for eight hours and you're home free i love that you can go through the dark brotherhood which is big assassin thing Without even getting, like, you don't even get, like, any penalty for just blitzing into a town, mur viciously murdering somebody in the streets, and then just sleeping for eight hours and heading to the house. Like, I don't get that very much. And then again, I don't know how they would, like, if you did, you I mean... How fun would it be? You get caught murdering somebody and you get like a double life sentence or something in Skyrim and you literally just sit there and rot. That'd be a great gaming experience. It'd be more incentive to sneak though. It would be more incentive to sneak. Alright, let's go up here and get Elaine Dufont. What kind of name is Elaine Dufont? A. Hey, I don't like his beady little eyes. I don't like his beady little eyes. And I sure as heck don't like his beady little eyes. Fun fact, did you know that ice, ice wraiths are honestly the only enemy, in, or one of the only enemies in Skyrim that like infinitely scale to your level? Like, they're actually, I, I, somebody did a video on it, I watched it a couple days ago, of the power scaling, or like the strongest enemies in Skyrim, and they're the only ones that keep leveling with you. Well, we just destroyed our welcoming party, so let's go on in here and see the festivities inside. And there we go! Banded outlaw slain! Alright, one more bad guy left and we are home free. Oh, 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 oh! Spin move! Oh! Hey, yo, it's your boy Senpai Billy. That's not, that is my catchphrase. That is my catchphrase, fellas. That is my catchphrase. It's your boy Senpai Billy. And we are here in the belly of the beast, ladies and gents. The belly of the beast. Shouldn't be too tough. We've only got, okay, Elaine Dufont's not doing anything. He's just kind of sitting there. Okay, now he's doing something. All right, Elaine Dufont. Well, there he goes. There he was, and there he is. He has an actual uh, unique weapon on him called Aegis Bane. It's just, it's just a, uh, I'll show it to you real quick. It's just a regular iron warhammer or whatever, but... It, it's uniquely named, and it's actually a really cool name. I wish they would have given it a unique model, but they couldn't be bothered, so it'll be all right. 
All right, let's report back to Astrid, I guess. Astrid and Nazir. And uh, I guess, boys, that'll be the end of part four of the Skyrim Let's Play. Part number four. Okay, why is everybody mad? Okay, oh, they were hired thugs. Okay, I, I got here and everybody just started getting all mad. I don't care about that house. I really do not care about that stupid house. All right, we need to get over here to Murray and get our collect our benefits for killing old Nilsine and old uh, what's his name, old Elaine Dufont. Found a lot of success using different stressing different letters or different syllables and words. Uh, talk to Murray. What, what, why is she out there now? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, she'll never forget. Wow, she pays more than old cheapskate Nazir over there. She gave us 400 gold and a unique ring. That's more like it. Oh, any time, honey. All right, we got to report back to Astrid and see what's going on. All right, boys, right before we talk to Astrid here, we're going to end it right here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I cannot express to you guys the amount of support that we've been getting and how grateful I am for that support. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. I know we didn't get quite as much done today. We did a couple quests though. I think that's pretty good in my book. I hope you guys continuously support and enjoy the content. Hopefully we'll be having that new hardcore series out of Minecraft. We're ending the old series so stay up to date with that. There's not going to be any more episodes on our old survival world. There will be new ones on our hardcore world and the way I'm going to set that up is it's going to be series one, series two, series three, series two. Every time I die, we'll restart. So, hopefully, we can continuously grow off of the part ones because we all know part ones of a series does much better than part twos. So, hopefully, we can hopefully we can grow a little bit, guys. I'm, my main goal right now is about 500 subscribers by March, March 1st. So, hopefully, we can do that. That'd be fantastic. With the current growth, we will have no problem getting there. Thank you all so much. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Go down there to the comments below and let me know of any kind of Skyrim guides that you guys would like. I know a lot of people are kind of enjoying the Skyrim guides a lot on the channel. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for different Skyrim guides, be sure to comment them down below. I've been uh, I've been hearing a lot of, uh, or not a lot, but a couple of comments about Fallout 4 and other Bethesda games. And pretty much the way that I'm going to swing this channel, I'm only going to really play games that I like. I never, like, I played Fallout 4 once. I don't really like it very much, though. So, I'm only going to really be doing games that I considerably enjoy, like Skyrim and Minecraft and Pokemon and stuff like that. Stuff that I enjoy a lot more than your average game. Anyway, I'm going to end my little spiel right here. Thank you all so much for watching. But above all else, thank you for your time.